We interrupt your regularly scheduled Amazing Spider-Man comic program for a event tie-in. Uh, this is one of the frustrating things about Marvel Comics and ever reading Marvel Comics is it seems like every single time that you get into any kind of storyline going whatsoever, you get this like event thing that just like totally usurps everything, pauses the storyline, and it just is a big waste of an issue. And they do this, I guess, to like pad out their omnibuses or build hype for the events. I mean, it's really painful. But these events now are getting so bloated where you have a six-issue miniseries, which that's really the only story, and then the rest of it is like random filler that you throw, you know, you could throw in the back of things. And sometimes they're like 40, 50 issues long at this point. I mean, they're really milking it and they give you a checklist to try to buy all these things for speculators. Uh, it's, it's really like the worst of the worst of comics. And this is the worst of the worst of comics. I mean, you get not only that, but you get Zeb Wells writing, uh, which is annoying. So we have this character here who's like Tombstone's daughter, uh, who was in the last event, the big Spider-Man gang war event. And uh, there's vampires everywhere, and Spider-Man's, like, dealing with these people all becoming vampires. And so it's just a jumbled mess. Uh, I'm not going to read the event. I'm not interested in it. And, you know, I'm sure that uh, this little side adventure of all these vampires uh, doing things is fantastic. But it is what it is. The art's okay. I, I forget who even did the art on this issue because, like, uh, Spider-Man being twice a month um, just switches artists so fast. And a lot of it's, you know, pretty good. On this level, who was it? Let's find out. It is John Romita Jr. Now, I didn't like John Romita Jr.'s stuff in the uh, last event he did, the Spider event, but this actually looks pretty good. I, I don't know if he spent a little more time on this this time than last time, but he, he seems to have his figures being a less, little less boxy, a little more detailed, and a little less, uh, you know, unfamiliar, uh, uh, I'd say more consistent than it was the last time he did one of these runs. Maybe he got a little break in between Spider issues here and, you know, did a little better of a job. I don't know. Uh, but this looks pretty good this time, uh, and so it works out pretty well on that level. It's just a vampire story. Now, Spider-Man gets mad at, like, <laughs> one of the guys with him for killing a vampire. It's insane to me. He's like, oh, we could have saved him somehow. It's, it, you know, it's the stupid thing that makes no sense uh, superheroes-wise. And then this gets continued in Amazing Spider-Man Blood Hunt. So not only are they doing a tie-in issue in the Amazing Spider-Man, which stopped the storyline of the Ben Riley and the Queen Goblin, which was going on, which I didn't like that storyline anyway, don't get me wrong. Uh, but then this gets continued in its own side issue. Uh, what a mess. Uh, and this is what makes it hard to read Marvel Comics on this level. I mean, the editorial really should stop this nonsense. It's terrible. If they're going to just do a tie-in, they should have done a tie-in that's just the Amazing Spider-Man Blood Hunt and not interrupted Amazing Spider-Man in order to do so. Would have been a little uh, more palatable on that level. But uh, yeah, this did not make me interested in reading the event at all. It sounds like vampires have taken over New York and done everything. Yay. Okay. I think they're doing two different vampire storylines right now. If, if, if I'm not wrong, there's like two events going on with like this sort of thing. Very bizarre. Uh, but uh, just a totally pointless issue. Art was okay. I didn't mind it. I know it's JRJR, but uh, it, it actually like it was a toned down version of it. Maybe maybe the uh, the inking's better this time. I have no idea what makes it better or not, but it was fine. I didn't have see anything that threw me out of it, and that's that. Blech. <laughs> it's tough reading Amazing Spider-Man. It really is. This is like a five out of ten, and that's it. Leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Hit the like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.